Hello guys, how's everybody doing? I just got back from running an errand. Didn't mean to have my cam on. Oh well, screen record that, mother truckers. I don't give a damn. Uh, today's topic is going to be moving forward on today's chill stream. And I'm going to be talking about all the things I'm going to be doing to move forward. I'm going to be putting on blinders. Uh... Sure, I'll be uh, looking into certain things, and uh, you can expect videos from me, some creative videos of my own style with uh, what I can do them with. Uh, first one's coming is on Grind to Shine, and I've already started it, and I, I'm really taking my time with it. It's going to be a masterpiece. I, I'm going to hone my craft, and I'm anyone that says something that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about with me, they can expect to end up having a video made at least one. Now, I'm not going to get obsessive and go five, six, eight, ten videos with people going back and forth. I'm just not going to do it. But to not do anything, I don't want to be considered a bitch, which is exactly how I'll be considered by not ever responding back. So, Oh, the devil of fucking social appearances, huh? No, I suspect, though, look, Scooter has offered me uh, some real help as far as, like, you know, economic. I could use it. I just don't know if I can take Scooter's help because I don't know what type of work it is. I don't know if it would be accommodating to the limitations I have. You know, that's why I'm having... Uh, challenging challenges in employment right now and for people to rag on me especially with everything I've been through and everything it just it sucks so much because it it just feels so unfair and the more I talk about it the more people just seem to not even give a shit more I, I don't know I do know that, you know, yeah, you know, it'd be nice. Could I live a life without pharmaceutical meds? Sure. But I'm actively dependent. I'm not in active addiction. I don't sell stuff or steal to get my meds. I don't abuse my meds. I don't take more or less than prescribed. I don't sell them. I don't do anything that would count as active addiction. So when people say I'm in active addiction, they are fucking wrong. I've had a doctor even tell me this. My doctor. And that's not because she's getting paid or bribed by me, people. I'm on Medicaid. I was private pay for a while, but I've been on Medicaid a while now. So she's being as honest with the science they got right now, that somebody who had an addiction to opioids, me, that has chronic pain, me, that still needs to manage chronic pain and really can only take Tylenol, which is just as bad for you long term, me, well, they figured out that buprenorphine, suboxone, subutex, is actually good for chronic pain patients. It helps them a lot with their chronic pain at low doses. Me, so guess what? That's why I'm prescribed it. Fucking, fucking idiot, man. I'm allowed to take three a day, and I only take two a day. And maybe one day I'll get down to one. Maybe one day I can quit them all together. That would be great. But trying to force at me on YouTube like my current life circumstances is because of my recovery-aided doctor intervention program is nuts. You know how nuts that sounds to me? Basically, you're invalidating all the people that had me under their care in 2019 to 2020. So all that was just bullshit, or I've made it bullshit. That's not the case. 
case is, is that I just need um, continued care. And I know there's no need to explain D Wiz. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Carrie, you're welcome here. I just don't want any antagonism. You know. Oh, hi, Carrie. How you doing? But, you know, people don't know the first fucking thing about me, personally. They just assume because of how I've acted in some YouTube scenarios fight. Number one, I'm new to YouTube, and number two, I'm young, and number three, I got some mental disorders, and number four, I'm not as mature as most of you. Most of you are half or double. Uh, Alright, Carrie, you're back. Uh, Carrie, if you got blocked, yeah, then you must have been blocked. You know, I'm not, not going to say it was on accident. or anything. I just, just didn't mean to do it personally. Like, you know, I didn't personally block you for any personal reason. You guys will excuse me and get to know each other. We'll wait for a few more people to come in. I'm going to go refill my cola. Okay? I'm sorry about the DMV. No, We had uh, something forgot to be put down on the calendar today, so I forgot to remind Grandpa of something. We got reminded all ago, and of course it's too late in the day to do anything about it. But it's a combination of both our faults. He didn't give a card to me, so I mark it down on the calendar. He found it in his car. And so therefore, it never got done because it wasn't able to get it done. We have a system for the way we do everything. That's something else people don't know anything about that I don't feel like explaining anymore because, you know, like people don't realize that I had the same birth birthday with this man. There's a reason God put him in my life when I was three years old. And people act like I've left, lived here the whole time and never left home. That's another lie. I've lived on my own a couple times. Oh. I don't know if any of you guys could hear that talk while I was having in the other room, but oh, okay. Uh, you guys got to understand. I've had a lot of you like. Come on, have you guys seen anyone else besides maybe Zanime and maybe a few others had the onslaught of people? Like I've had onslaught after onslaught groups of people just come at me just for the simple reason I dared to say you shouldn't be making videos on me that are false or you shouldn't be bullying me or whatever you know that's literally the only reason why I've been attacked oh that and because people found out oh guess what he accidentally showed someone's name but we'll just say he didn't do it as an accident that's just him lying He's manipulating. Like, what? If I knew, I one, I did know and had thought that, like, if I just came out and said, like, yeah, I did it or whatever, and I'm sorry, like, I'd get automatically people, you know, will assume, you know, they respect that more. But I'm going to tell the truth. Like, if I did something that was a result of error, whether it be my hand error, a flip up of my tongue, 
like when I said someone's name because we had been chatting a lot and I, I said their name instead of their YouTube name on live before, like those were mistakes. I know in my heart they were. And to those that say otherwise, okay, but you're not me, you're in my heart. So can you really say you know whether or not they were mistakes? No, you can't. So shut the fuck up. Like, hey, Chanel, how are you doing tonight? And Delilah, thank y'all for joining my stream. Um, like this grind to shine dude, he's a scammer and uh, he's trying to, you know, poke fun at me. I was going to do some content here that focuses on some trials and some true crime, like the uh, Walk the Shop parade person that ran over all those people he's doing some sovereign citizen type bs in uh in his trial and causing disruptions and wasting taxpayer dollars and i was going to uh to highlight that and do a video on it I understand there, Carrie. But see, I ain't been worried about model, modding others. I've been letting people mod here, and they have downright go against my wishes. Somebody says something disrespectful or about a dead relative, they'll sit there and unhide the person. They'll unhide the person for clout or high five, whatever. Like, they have no sense of respect or whatever. They act all buddy buddy when everything's going good and everything. But once the moment someone comes over here and starts shit, like, you know, then they show who they really are. Hello, Mia. Good afternoon to you, too. You know, it's just, it's English word would be it's bollocks. It's a lot of bollocks. I've got to take two Tylenol now and a depression pill just because, number one, it's time, and two, this stuff is starting to actually give me legit migraines or headaches. I may have to pull a Johnny Global move and leave out. I was trying to get to 500 subscribers so I could at least have a community page because I, I feel like I could do so much more if I had a community page and uh, could make memes because I have an app where I could make, you know, picturesque type memes and uh, really get my point across a lot easier than it is making videos. Not, it's not that I would stop making videos. I would just make less often as many videos, you know, until at least I got a better laptop. Hey, little motherfucking Robbie. Oh, if Fusion's here, tell Mr. Fusion I said hello. I still can't see him. I think Mr. Fusion is the only one that's kept to our agreement at all. Not that I've checked. I haven't even checked his channel out or anything. I just... I'm the type that I like to try to take people at their word. Because when I give somebody my word, I hold it. I told Scooter we were going to talk on Friday at least. If, if not, somehow if he gets a hold of me sooner. You know, but it, it's not going to be an overnight process. And in the end, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to, to go. You know, like... Uh, the thought of uh, abandoning my grandfather... You know, it don't sit well with me, and I know it won't ring well with my family. Especially to somebody I don't know that's on the internet. I know I hear a lot of good about him, and I know he is a, probably a very good person. But uh, then again, you know, 
I've said things when he's made me angry, things that he probably didn't appreciate me saying, you know. I've got that factor to worry about. I've got the fact that I don't know who he is. I've got the fact that we may not get along that great, you know. And I'd be all the way up in a state where I don't know anybody or anything. You know, there's a lot of factors to go over. People just up and expect me to, like, move all of a sudden. Especially when I had already went that far. And I had already made a jump like that just two years ago. You know, but I kind of was in a position that I had to. I had cut up my neck and everything. Like, they were like, you need help. And I'm like, yeah, I don't disagree with you on that one. And so I got help. Oh, I held my word with MC. Because the anime has been getting bullied, and I've been getting bullied. That's a simple comparison. I don't think it's really, you know, any different. I've had death threats. She's had death threats. If I had a job, I'm sure somebody would be harassing my job. Oh, I can see that account, Mr. Fusion. Yeah, I just responded to you. But uh, what do you see in the bedroom media? You can get on up out of here. Sure, I can prove it, Mr. Fusion, if you want, but I'm not really comparing myself in a large scale exactly like her. I know I'm not a veteran. I'm not a refugee or anything. I didn't say that. You know, just because I use a comparison of another situation, it doesn't mean I'm trying to steal that situation's thunder because I'm not at all involved, nor do I really have a stance on this anime thing. I'm just watching things as they unfold. So, no disrespect, Mr. Fusion, but I think you kind of got me a little wrong on that whole deal. Well, if I said I was getting bullied more than her, I said that out of inaccuracy and out of hasteness. And I was wrong, obviously, because I can't even, I wouldn't have been able to measure that yet. So I wouldn't be able to make that statement on the determination of sure sureness. So if that offended you, Mr. Fusion, I apologize. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, here's one. I want to get my arms around you and fuck. I see I'd have to upload these to be able to show them, but then I got a threat from Clifford Ray. Got another threat. A lot of other texts. Got a lot of screenshots of people showing all my numbers and stuff. I mean, like, you know, I do have proof that uh, I've been bought. You know. I'm not mad or angry anymore. Uh, Ford, I've calmed down since. I just, uh, I had to uh, correct Grind to Shine. Um, I may have overstated some things and been wrong about some stuff I'd said, but, uh, for the most part, I'm mainly focusing on everyone's uh, fascination with my personal business as if it's any of their business whatsoever. You know, I, I pray for the global family. I pray, pray for Zanime. I pray for fucking Uncle Will. Hell, I even pray for Babel. I pray for Iceman. I pray for each and every, y'all don't realize that, but each and every night I sit there and go through every person's name on YouTube, from the people I agree with to the people I don't agree with. You know why? Because God don't discriminate. 
And that may sound cheesy or whatever, but that's the truth. And I meant what I said a while ago, Mr. Fusion. I'm not trying to uh, just play it off. I'm telling you that, honestly, if that's what I said, then I was wrong, obviously. So please don't uh, take that too much to offense, if you don't mind. Hey, little motherfucking Robbie, how you doing? Little motherfucking wreaking havoc. Mr. Fusion, you're right. You're right. I only put that up there so I can try to sear that into my mind. I read it twice. Thanks, Fusion. Oh, shit. What are you tearing up in here? Need any help? No, oh, got one. You got brownie sitting. You got brownie sitting behind you. He's all perked up. See, people, we um, uh, no one's talking about this. I saw a video today that was talking about these teachers, these women teachers. That are doing OnlyFans and um, they're losing their jobs because colleagues, like there was this nurse that lost her job and a couple teachers, because colleagues will find their OnlyFans and share them at work with other colleagues and watch them while they're at work, even or off work, or it'll get back to their bosses. And uh, Vice was doing a piece on it. And they're literally acting like they were some sort of victim, like because the inflation rate is causing people to get more than one source of income in a lot of homes. And I mean, that's a really hard thing to rectify. Like on the one hand, I don't think teachers should be involved in that type of work and involved with kids. I just don't. But on the other hand, I do I mean, sometimes people have to hustle to make money, whether or not cyber or sex work is it, I don't know. But, uh, you know, and I don't know if Miss Bird is making content of me or not by some of the things that are said in here, but I don't have any problem with Miss Bird or Jean. Uh, I've never done anything to Miss Bird. You know, so I just want to state that for the record. That, you know, I'll tell you one thing, ever since I lost my grandmother, I have cherished each day more and more with a kind of um, I was talking about an article, dude, why does she keep you know, I, I blocked her earlier, you know, and I told Tracy not to come in here. And you say, I'm a narcissist. What, you're making this about you. I brought up that the issue of teachers having only fans and getting fired. It was an article on Vice, a video. Like, that's what I mean. She comes in here to do that. The, oh, no life, Mike fan. No life, Mike, you know, I mean... I'm not even going to feed into the negativity. I'm not going to feed into it. What's up, Jolly Rack? How are you doing, man? These people are trying to keep me down. I got mods that want to unhide people. And so when they do, 
uh, and you see them, please let me know if you see anyone do it. I'm keeping an eye. But, you know, I'm sorry if somebody gets blocked y'all like, but they obviously don't want to be in here respectfully. And if they can't respect that simple rule, then they don't need to be in here. You know, why would you want to be in a chat with a su supposed narcissistic sociopath? I mean, fuck. You guys are treating me just like you do Iceman. The only difference is me and Iceman are a lot different. And I and I feel bad for, for listening to some of the old bullshit about Iceman to begin with. Because right now, shit, I could actually have him uh, trusting me more, but instead, it's the opposite just because of the fucking path I ended up going down. You know, it's just, it's, it's all the way fucked. People are fucking with Johnny Gobble again after all the positivity he's been trying to do. That's what people do. See, people don't understand that, you know, people come around you and they literally try to throw your own vibration off. And it's easily doable. I mean, you know, you got to have some strong psychic, uh, mental, uh, mastermind type work done or hypnosis built up or meditation to be able to really withstand some of the, the wear down, the uh, beratement, the verbal uh, barrage of insults, and disses that people shoot off on here. I mean, it's a lot. I didn't say anything about you, Miss Bird, besides that I just hope you, like, I didn't know if y'all were making skits about me or not. And, I, and if so, I hope not. But if you are, you're going to do what you do. You know, I just want to let you know I ain't got no issue with you. That's all I said, ma'am. But, yeah, these people um, today were talking about that, uh, and I really don't know what to make of it. But the teachers are being fired whenever they're discovered that they got OnlyFans. And so I was going to ask what y'all thought about it. Y'all think they should be allowed to have, you know. It's just, it, it was just something that I, that I tried to uh, think about. That's all. Hello, knowledge. Okay, Chad, I got you. I got you. That's all I was saying. That's all I was saying. That's just, you know, I ain't got no problem with her. It ain't nothing but love. You know, I support her. And I support Iceman, Gene. You know, like, I'm subscribed to all of them. Like, you know, I ain't got no hate for anybody. But people that got hate for me, I've, I've got to withdraw all my support. Okay, well, Miss Okay, Miss Bird shared her opinion. So she believes the teachers ought to be able to do what they want on the side and keep their teaching job. So you know, I'm gonna give a poll so that way we don't have to, you know, that way if people that don't want to make their personal opinion known don't have to. But I'll just make a poll. It's not me that uh, did the article or Vice piece. It was Vice. I'm just asking what y'all's opinion of it is. You know, I'm trying to talk about stuff. I'm trying to talk about other stuff than the same old shit. 
So I made a poll. You can vote yes or no. The question straightforward and simple. No, that's true. But one of the arguments is, is that with how younger kids are with electronics is the fear about middle or teenage kids uh, trying to find or look up one of their teachers, especially if they've got a hot teacher or something. You know what I mean? That's one of the concerns. I tend to think they should, though, as long as, you know, there's some restrictions in play. You know, it just depends. Yeah, I, I really don't. That would be better, Mia, but we all know how the school board and everything works, like the teachers' unions and all that. I don't know what it's like where you are, but here it's pretty stagnant wages but I mean you make a good point everybody look at Mia's point because she makes a very very good point Okay, we got somebody else with a different opinion. I seem to agree that if they teach prepubescent boys and girls up, no, they should not have an active OnlyFans. If they teach kids younger than that, okay, but it's strictly kept confidential. You know what I mean? I think that when you get up into the prepubescent high school, late middle school years, if you were to be doing that, you're obviously like, there's a risk of exposure. That's all I'm saying. Sean, you're not going to get kicked for any, or Mia, you're not getting kicked. You're not going to get kicked for anything. Oh, little Robbie. Wow. And the winner for got the best joke in the house is a little Robbie. Little motherfucking Robbie. Come on, mods. Let's get those likes up. Grind to shine ain't nothing but a nine to five. What he really be talking about is shooting straight shit. He don't just know when to quit. Square work media. It's a simple name. My strategy for the game is nothing nor fame. Is simply a way to play the game. No, I don't know. I can't really rhyme or nothing. Never did say I could. But shit, I figured I'd give it a shot. Ground to shine. Stay out my life. Hey, little Dirk's or Dirk's cabinet door. What's up? Shout out to you, man. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to Square Works Media, man. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be a short chill stream. I got a uh, function tonight at church I'm going to. So please, everybody vote to the... Uh, I'm sorry I misspelled should, but it should teachers keep their jobs if they do only fans. Because a round of teachers have been getting fired that have only fans, not just teachers, but nurses, all types of, of women that have jobs.
Well, see, what it comes down to is company policy. And if a company's policy or business thinks that if it leaks out that one of their employees does this OnlyFans, which is controversial and still seen as like sort of taboo or, you know, uh, maybe shame. I, I don't know what the look of it is on society. The, I think the view from society still yet is it's basically like a form of self porn or whatever. And if you're, and I, I don't know if every company, especially if a company is owned by like an extremely religious or zealous, you know, philosophy driven or, you know, code type person, they may want to uh, have a policy that forbids it. And all they simply got to do is add it to their policy. Hey, Jeff, uh, Patrick, Jeff Code, how you doing, sir? What's up? Good to have you at Squareworks Media. Uh, good to have you, troll account. How about a troll account? Well, guess what? Interesting, interesting. It is a tie. 50-50. 50% say yes, they should keep the jobs. 50% say no. It is a tie. So we will have to come back to this and break the tie hopefully next time. We will try. Thank you for everybody that voting. So half of the people in this chat think they should, and the other half don't think so. That's, I mean, I don't know when more fair you're going to get than that. Well, technically, no is the majority, but it's by a close margin, so close that I'm willing to want to do that vote again. So I'm not going to, you know, give the winner over to no just yet. Yeah, I know. It did say 50 to 50. Maybe it changed at the last minute. If that's if that's true, then I guess the the resounding majority is a no. Guys, when I hit in poll, it said 50 50. That's why I said I'm not talking about when it posted there to the chat. There's also a delay. I have an added delay to the stream. Yeah, I get it. It's 51 to 48. I know. I see it. You know... What's funny, hold on one second. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm back. I had to speak to my granddad. Be careful. I love you. Okay. I might not. Sorry, excuse me, guys. Not trying to yell. Uh, so, I want to talk about. Some of the things I'm going to be moving forward is I'm going to be doing the original body language uh, videos that I wanted to do. Since I've completed that course and I am certified. 
I have a certificate and all. And I have the book, um, which eventually, when I get my certificate in the mail and I get it framed, it's one course I've been working on. See, people always, like, they have no idea. I've been studying a course the whole time while all this bullshit's been going on. So, yeah, I'm, I'm such an addict that I've been able to do pretty much almost like a college course worth of body language. I did a video on Dagburn before his body language. And I mean, for amateur at the time, I mean, not completing the school or the class, it was pre pretty, uh, pretty. Yeah, that'll be fine. Thank you. Kenny reacts, don't post those wrenches, bro. Like, you lost your wrench because you wanted to go against what the, the channel like i would never do that in your channel man out of respect like you know no now you're no he doesn't now you're spamming my chat dude is what you're doing I didn't mean to block you. What are you talking about? Unblock everyone so we can get up. I ain't going to unblock everyone. Dude, we got 22 people in here and five likes. People in here need to like the video up if they would want to. If they don't want to, they don't want to, I guess. But why would I unblock people that purposefully give me shit? Yeah, exactly. Only four likes. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, you know, I mean, I don't know what's the deal, but people want to try to tempt me or manipulate me to. I don't care if there's a. All right, Miss Berlinetta, you need to go. You're part of the problem. Um, I don't need to know about those new videos. I'm trying to get away from that. Do you think I care what he thinks about me? So I, I'm sorry, Miss Berlinetta, but I, I'm going to have to remove you as a moderator and I'm going to have to take, you know, I'm just going to have to remove you as a moderator. I mean, that's part of the problem. I'm going to delete your message because I don't care to know. I'm not going to ban you from the chat because you haven't done anything to be banned from the chat but you know I don't need people encouraging that stuff surely you can understand that Yeah, well, I don't need to know. I'll, I'll see them soon enough. That's the problem. They keep harassing me. And 
your your message is just proof that they keep harassing me. You know, filthy animal puts my picture on his fucking avatar when he's streaming with Iceman, and he thinks that you know that I'm supposed to take advice from him or think that he's got my best interests at heart. Fuck that motherfucker. He won't even show his fucking face. He's a fucking pussy. I got such a bad headache from all this shit. And none of them care. They think it's just all fun and fun and games. You know. I hope one of these days that I don't snap or something, but I mean, they just keep it up and keep it up and keep it up. I can't, why can't I exist on here like they do with all the other people? And they don't make videos about fusion. They don't make videos about Iceman or not Iceman, but they don't make videos about each other. Like you don't ever see, uh, you know, People like, I don't know, uh, Grind to Shine make a video on Fusion, or Black Pox make a video on Fusion, or fucking uh, Filthy to make a video on uh, Scooter or anybody. You know, they just always only attack people they think are vulnerable, it seems. And I'm not talking bad about Mr. Fusion here. I'm just using you as an example. Because me and Mr. Fusion have peace. But, you know, I don't, I don't get the elbow call, but whatever, I mean... It's just a simple matter of fact that, you know, it's almost like a perpet, like I can never move on because someone's always got to make just a, one more video, just another video, just, you know, another thing for me to either ignore or respond to. If I ignore it, then I'm a bitch and I'm basically admitting it's true. And if I say something back, then I'm feeding into it, blah, 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 you know. So with Catch-22, I'm fucked out of the way, pretty much. Bro, I was just saying, not you, Mr. Fusion. I was using you as an example. I was just using you as an example, dude. That's all. I didn't say anything about you, bro. I didn't say anything about you. So please don't get mad at me, dude. Please, fuck. I, I said I was just using you as an example. I'm sorry I didn't, okay? Fucking A, man. I'm sorry. God damn. No, the cycle... Is the fact that people won't leave me alone, bruh. These videos came out before I made my videos today. It always works in that. You guys want to think it's me streaming and then I get videos made. That's not how it goes. It's videos made, I stream, then more videos made, then more videos made, then I stream, then videos made. That's the cycle. It's not a perpetual cycle. What do you think that an addiction is causing me to do this? Because that, that'd be the, the, the most newest and weirdest side effect I've ever heard of. Hello, Rebecca. I'm sorry. I'm blind. Look, guys, today is the day that my mom died, okay? I am not doing good already as it is.
I didn't randomly go off on him today, uh, Fusion. He was on Iceman's Live talking shit about me, saying that I made a short talking about him when I was just talking about my dog. And all he did was run me down because I hadn't mentioned Scooter yet or nothing. Hell, it was early in the morning. I had just uploaded only one video so far yet. And he was already on Ice's panel talking about me. So, no, don't say I did it just randomly, because I did not. Yeah, I miss my mom so much. She... She didn't know what to do. She she tried all she could. She loved me so much. No, not my my dog is not called Philly Animal. No, I'm just saying the YouTuber. That's a YouTuber's name. He didn't come at me randomly. I had heard him talk about me before I put out my video on him. My mom died in a treatment facility. My mom was dropped off at a treatment facility by my stepdad while he went and drove around in a truck and gambled, which was his addiction, and she died. And I don't know why. I don't think I'll ever know until I'm dead. Well, everybody, I'm sorry for the misinformations or miscomparisons I've made in this video. That goes out to Mr. Fusion, mostly. But, you know, these people that have threatened me and made these videos about glory hoes and my dog and me and peanut butter and stuff. That stuff's vile. It's nasty. It's perverted. It's stuff I would never make. I haven't made. And I will not make. Even if they make it about me. The treatment facility didn't say anything because she was married and I was only her son. Hey, Lost Rebel, how are you? Well, guys, it's about almost time for Wednesday night supper, which is where we go and have fellowship, have Wednesday night dinner, and have a sermon afterwards. And I think I really need it. I really need it. I, I need to pray. I need to uh, speak to my pastor afterwards. You know, I, I'm going to do those things. That's what those people are in my life for. And uh, he's probably really not going to have much experience with all this, but I'll try to get the best advice that he can give me. I'll be seeing a counselor soon on the regular. I'll see my psychiatrist, Freddy, and I'll demand to uh, get my blood drawn. 
Well, yeah, I know knowledge. It didn't make any sense. They either didn't give her enough of something or they gave her too much of something. And she died as a result, had a heart attack, I think, was the reason it's listed. But I never heard from the hospital. Uh, you know, they wouldn't even have talked to me if I had tried. That's what I was told. Well, I maybe I was lied to knowledge and I just Im imagined it. Imagined it. But I'm going to pray that, that God helps people see that I am not an active addict. An active addict is the type of person I was before 2020. And while I may only have two years of active, non-active addiction time in, I still got these two years and I worked hard on each and every single motherfucking day. And each and every single day up until the last three to four months, none of y'all knew me. So just because of a, some mess ups, and bad streams, indiscretions, you can't just automatically judge that you know that I'm an addict actively. That's all I got to say, really, on this stream. I'm going to go to church because I do respect and love God, and I thank Him for the life He's given me every day. And I hope you do the same. I'm going to say a quick prayer to the Lord. If there's anyone here that does not know you, that uh, that you can help them, Lord, that you can come into their life and, and feel that that emptiness that one might feel at certain points in life when they don't truly have anybody there by them. Lord, I ask if you'll just come into somebody's heart tonight that needs it. And I pray that you'll keep everybody in this live stream safe and you'll bless each and every one of them. And Lord, I pray and bless the people that don't like me and that are vengeful towards me, and that maybe even hate me. And, and I pray that they find peace. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. I am going to get off here. I will speak to you guys later on tonight. I plan to do a late-night sermon. Everyone have a great evening. Peace and blessings. Take care. Till next time, Square Work Media. I'm out, y'all.